Dirty, dirty dinners, these are dirty, dirty dinners. Dirty, dirty dinners, these are dirty, dirty dinners. The food looks stinking. What were you thinking? Alright. This next one is called Dirty Dinners. Now, it is uh, mostly musicians from Instagram. Uh, I think it could be exclusively all rappers, except for one or two, possibly. Uh, but this is something that, that I was uh, speaking about earlier. Sarah the Nature, you're going to love this segment. Uh, uh, so I, I teased this on the last episode. I really wanted to get to it. This is another reason why I was so pissed off in the last episode. People were rushing me past my fun, cool, funny segments, right? I don't know how funny this is going to be. But this is something that I'm obsessed with and that I think is so goddamn hilarious, right? So I said it earlier. What What want to be popular people cloud chasers influencers do is they everywhere they go throughout their day they use this telephone instrument that they have and they take photographs you can take photographs and then you can upload that photograph to the internet right and there's this website called instagram okay and there's hundreds of millions of people on there and the aim of the game is you get more people to look at what you're doing and then I guess now I'm not an I'm not an expert, but I guess uh, the more people you tag, then the more people come and look at your profile. And the goal is to get them to follow you. And then the more famous person that follows you and knows about you or a brand perhaps will maybe give you some money to post photographs of their stuff. Now this is called an ad uh, doing this, uh, but what people do all the time is. They will tag people, they will take a photograph of some food, tag the company, and this is like a free advertisement for them. It's not an ad, but they want Nando's to see, Nando's there, there's a, there's a hint to our first one. They'll tag Nando's, for example, in hopes that Nando's will be like, oh, this person's popular, maybe we will pay them. To be a brand ambassador for us. But often people, you know, it's just for like clout. It's people need clout. They need clout, right? So we've got a good selection here of clout chasing and just dirty damn dinners. Now the clout chasing thing was sort of secondary to this. The main point of this dirty dinner segment is you're posting pics of the dirtiest, most disgusting looking dinners ever. Now, when I go out to dinner, these are the most exquisite, you know, luxurious, uh, fine, artisanal, crafted meals. And I don't take a photograph of them and post them to Instagram, ever. Uh, it's quite frankly embarrassing watching a couple do this in a restaurant, in a swanky place. Uh, but people aren't going to swanky places. They're going to their local boozer for a Sunday carvery. Which is something I would never do, by the way. And uh, they're going to the dirtiest, disgusting burger joint in Santa Ponza. And showing the most, discur <laughs> the most discourteous, disgusting photographs on Instagram. It is appalling what people think is worthy of content. Now, maybe we can talk about the reason why they're posting this. Is it just to show they've left the house? Uh, I do not know. Is it to show the person that they're with? Possibly. But I've got a delicious selection here. And we're going to go through them all. And you are going to love it. Dirty dinners, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. First one. We have Erica Cody. Now, Erica Cody is a an R&B singer. She was on Dancing with the Stars. Maybe. I don't know if she was the star or she was the one dancing with the star. No, she was the star, right? Now, she is quite, you know... She's not that popular. No one knows her outside of Dublin, really, apart from a few, like, select, you know, radio people who her manager has sent her song to. Um, uh, she's just an average R&B singer. But here she is. She's got, you know, probably tens of thousands of uh, followers at this stage. Here she is at mentioning Nando's with the most boring, plain Jane unappetizing looking plate of dry food so 
once she's tagged, she's gone to Nando's and tagged them. She's paying them for this food. A, a presumably. Can't get me there. Uh, presumably. She's paying for this food. But she at mentions them. To be like, oh, I love you, Nando's. Nando's is disgusting. See if you think Nando's is good. I mean, I've got a thousand other places to tell you about. If you would like some good recommendations, okay? If you're paying money for Nando's, you're, there's something wrong with your head. And um, I do not know how it came to be one of the most popular place, places in people's minds. They must have had some ad campaign in the late 2010s to, to make you think that this is something. Let's see. Uh, Sarah there says, so Instagram worthy. Love a boiled corn on the cob, yeah. So that was Erica Cody. Let's see who we have next. Next slide, please. Woo! None other than Kick Manny. The Connor G Show Zone. Kick Manny. Seven. Yo, check it. So here we have. He went to Mad Yoke. He was he was uh, in Dublin for the Fifty Cent concert. Smoking jinters outside the cop shop. Uh, loving it. This is how we do, remember, from the last show? So, uh, Mad Egg. It's a, it's a, it's an okay place in Dublin. You know, you, you go there, you get an egg bop, right? That's all it is. Um, I would like to let everybody know that cheese bacon fries are the lowest of the low. This is so shit and disgusting. And he has scored it 10 out of 10. What about this blurry photograph looks appealing? Now, this might be a screenshot of a video, so we'll uh, let him off with that. All this edit is here is just the person who posted this, and he reposted it, but it, he was with them, right? We've blanked out a few people, which are just their girlfriends, pretty much. Uh, no reason to bring them up. This isn't about them. This is about the Dirty Eyes Dinners! So, cheese fries, okay? When I was 11, I thought the sun rose and sat in a uh, basket of cheese chili fries um then i got to about age 17 and i returned to eddie rockets a childhood favorite when i was five six seven eight nine uh then i returned to the south of ireland and had an eddie rockets again and i got these stankin muck bang pile of slop disgusting really awful nowhere does it well uh especially mad egg dublin now i've never had them but i can tell by looking at this this is gelatinized sticky it's like wallpaper paste uh with custard coloring in it and cheese powder this ain't no good uh let's see uh several nights you will be banned this evening this is a this is a fun chilled out evening uh, tonight, it is us against them. It is not you saying you like chili goddamn cheese fries. Now, this is bacon cheese fries. Uh, even more disgusting than chili cheese fries, okay? Uh, Sarah Lene says, Whoa, I'm going to have to disagree. Who are you, Tababo? Uh, I like thick, gloopy congee- You are trying to wind me up. You almost got me. You almost got me. <laughs> you almost got me. Okay. Uh, next slide, please. Oh, Nico. Here he is. Nico DeRay. Uh, Nico, who we just saw, who I was so enamored with, right? This is slightly different. This is less to do with the food than it is the caption. Now, this ties in with our Eric Matthews calling, um, Michelin star food dirt and filth. Because he thinks that is, uh, something that you call delicious and, um wonderful food uh now you can use filth for flavorful and you know it's but it's it's solely for the description of junk food that is you know really uh intense flavors um but you're almost ashamed to eat that's why people call it dirt that's why people call it filth right Poor Eric Matthews. So it seems to be a thread here. Now, I don't know everything about Eric Matthews or Nico Reynolds, but I would assume from their accents that they're little posh boys. Well, 
a semi mea culpa. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you grow up a little posh boy, you are confused about uh, certain terminology that you hear other people use. Now, he's made up this fake scenario where he's finished one plate of food and he says, Hey, Nico, how do you eat so much? Because that's the accent of the people he hangs around with, right? And he says, because I'm actually trash, mate. Like a bin. You just had a plate of rice and beans. That's, that's No one gives two shits about that. And this photograph is disgusting. Very out of character for Nico. He, he usually has good photographs of food. But because I'm actually trash, mate, me. <laughs> me, I'm just a bin man. Shovel some grab in me. I'm disgusting. Bill. No. No, sorry, Nico. You got this one wrong. You got those burgers wrong, too. Um, everything else you got right on that episode one of All Fired Up, in case this is the bit that you see, okay? Uh, semi mea culpa. For the banter, yeah? All right, Nico, you're off the hook this time, but incorrect usage. I will be holding uh, the fire to your feet and Eric Matthews' feet whenever you say stuff like trash, dirt, filth. So inappropriate. Yo, check it. Next slide, please. Slide, please. Let's see. Ah, little Rony. So, little Rony posts a Nando's pic every single week. Every single day, almost. So, he's tagged his, his old muckers there. Never mind about them. This isn't about them. This is just about stinking old Nando's. Now, look at this dry-ass yellow plate. One, two... Three, four, five dry chicken breasts. You think um, they have a barbecue going in the back of Dublin City Centre's Nando's? No, these are mo these are coloured in. They scrape a little bit out and they colour it in with food dye to get these char marks. And they use fake smoke, okay? Fake liquid smoke. Excuse me. Um, but look at this bland plate. Why would you ever post something like this? Bland chips with a little bit of seasoning, bland rice with barely any flavor, and these disgusting chicken breasts. Dry, no flavor, tough as an old leather boot. Um, that's why they. That's why the thing with Nando's is these. We've got five different types of hot sauce. I, cause you know you gotta smother it in that shit, cause the food is so bland and dry. Am I right here? Am I crazy for thinking such a thing? No. Anyway, little Rooney, um, if you're going to take a photograph from Nando's, uh, at least use the, you know, uh, good filter or something, because this is some boring ass stuff. This is a PG stream. I try not to swear. Next slide, please. Whoa! Here's one of the good ones. Now, these get better and better. As far as I can see, these get worse and worse and worse as we go along. Now, this is where the dirty dinners part really kicks in. So, this is a sideways one. Uh, maybe we should re rotate this to get a better angle uh, on it, but I don't think we need to. Now, this is a rapper called Scripta. He is from Limerick or Cork or somewhere like that. Somewhere in Ireland. He's fine, he's fine, he's a nice enough guy, whatever. Um, but what he has posted here needed to be brought up on my television program. So, let's just zoom in here. What do we got? We have the Philly cheese steak. All right, we've got some overcooked steak, some raw tomato, some what looks like maybe fried onions in there, and some orange grated cheese irish uh red leicestershire <laughs> if it's red leicester it's not red dublin cheddar is it we got some orange cheese red leicester let's call this some overcooked steak and a ciabatta uh and and i assume he's in a pub here uh, judging by the wkds on the table and the copperbergs hell yeah baby um this it's the wrong cheese. Now we're getting cooking here, Tababo. Thank you. Uh, it's one of Rob's vacation dinners in this segment. That would be so good. That would be so good, Tababo. That's such a great idea. I wish I'd thought of that. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. 
So, uh, wrong bread. Tababo is from America, so he knows he's from Philadelphia, okay? Uh, that's completely the wrong bed for a Philly cheesesteak and the wrong cheese, absolutely. But um, that doesn't matter to script. He's not, he's not thinking about that. He is thinking he's about to have a lovely Philly cheesesteak here. That is what's present in his mind. But he is, you know, he knows that this ain't sh <laughs> No, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, um, a pub will call this a Philly cheesesteak with gravy and chips, okay? Uh, disgusting, you know, slop bucket gravy, uh, oxo cubes with a few, uh, pepper grinds in there. Um, you know, frozen chips, probably been reheated six times, not double fried, reheated. Uh, and then the P.S. de Resistance. We have a gravy boat filled with um, little coleslaw. Uh, economy fun bucket sized coleslaw in a gravy boat. Oof. I When I saw this photograph, I kissed my teeth. You know, I loved it so much. This is a great photograph script. I love stuff like this. Um... This isn't even the dirtiest dinner we have for you tonight. Wait till you see the next couple of slides. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. It's a lot of mayo. Yeah, I, I hate a slaw like this. Uh, I, um, I, used to, I used to like coleslaw like this, but then I had a few, I went to a few uh, barbecue places, b -b -b barbecue places, and they blew me away with their coleslaw. Uh, much uh, less mayo. You don't need all this mayo for coleslaw. That ruins coleslaw, that mayo. Um, you know, the finer the cabbage, the sweeter the fruit. So there you go, Scripta. Thank you for posting this dirty, disgusting cheese stick, Philly cheese stick, uh, Sunday carvery roast. Thank you so much. Next slide, please. Oh, this one's good. This is just, this is a drill wrapper called Trench Baby. Let's hope he doesn't kill me. Trench Baby, if you see this, this is just for a bit of a laugh. So, uh, here is a disgusting carvery dinner, which he felt the need to post to the internet. Well, we got two scoops of mashed potatoes. We got mushy peas, by the looks of it, cabbage, carrots, gravy, and half a plate of bread crumbs. This ain't no stuffing, ladies and gentlemen. It's, I mean, it's advertised on the menu of the pub he's in on a, on a lovely Sunday with his uh, uh, nice little girlfriend there. Um, now they're happy enjoying their Sunday lunch together. That's all that matters. Not how bad the meal is. The meal doesn't even enter into their minds. This is just a lovely day out to them. Uh, but look at all this breadcrumb. There's the hint of seasoning in that. There's no parsley. There's no sage. There's no onion. There's no sausage. Uh, very, very, very disappointed in this carvery lunch. Next slide, please. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have royalty in this evening. Hip hop, Northern Irish hip hop royalty. <laughs> now, John Sue. Um, he is uh, a Belfast rapper, one of the oldest rappers. Uh, we're not going to get into him. He's done some other podcasts. Uh, not as good as my podcast, as you can see. But he is posted at Springsteen's restaurant. Now, there's no, there's nothing wrong with Springsteen's. Uh, I've been to Springsteen's many times uh, as a child. Um, and I believe, you know, this restaurant does cater to children. As you can see, this drink here. Now, that is probably worthy to post to Instagram because it's so silly and funny and fun. These chips ain't nothing to sneeze at. And this disgusting grey wrap is the best. I cannot believe this. Now, this is a man of luxury, this Jonsu guy. He is always indulging himself. And anything he wants, he gets. Okay? But I, I was floored. I gasped. I held my chest. I came out in a cold sweat when I saw this. The best? This 
ant shit? This is disgusting! This is corpse flesh. It hasn't even thawed out. Look at how congealed and disgusting this is. This is great matter. This is brain matter. From a zombie. This is one of the worst things I've ever seen, and he has captioned it the best. Oh my god, John Sue, I give you more credit than this. Let's move on very swiftly, because my stomach is starting to turn looking at that. I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh. You know when you get that... That, uh... Liquid builds up in your mouth before you hurl? That's what I'm feeling looking at this. Whew, this is brutal. Next slide, please. Oh my god. I don't wanna I don't wanna press this next one too quickly because the next slide I have for you is the best of the night. We're never gonna see anything better than this. I could just retire this segment. Now I may keep it up for the rest of my life because I love doing this. This is so funny. Look at the selection of shite dinners we've seen here so far. Sorry for the blowing English. Well, semi mea culpa. <laughs> Yo, check it. For the banter, yeah? Look at the selection we've already seen. What I'm about to show you. It will shock you. Now, I know I like to exaggerate. I've been exaggerating this whole night. But when I say this next dinner I'm about to show you is the worst dinner that I've ever seen, never mind just taking a photograph of it and posting it to the internet as some sort of humble brag or... I don't know. I'm not assuming what, what this next guy was thinking. Maybe we can speculate on that a little bit. But believe me when I tell you this is the worst thing I've ever seen Post it to an Instagram story. All right, he's ready for this. He's ready for this. Next slide, please. Ah! <laughs> oh my God! What is that? What is this? This is a re this is at a restaurant. Look at this. So this is a rapper called Weeb Fap. I'm not familiar with him. I think I follow him on Instagram. Why? Where else would I have seen this? Um. These chips, let's start with the chips because we need to build up to this. I can barely look at that. It's so foul. So these chips are sort of, they look very dry. They, they're sort of curled up, which is interesting. But these look like the scrape at the bottom of the pan. The shit that uh, was left over in the frying trap. Uh, Sarah with an H says, imagine paying for that. Uh, Tababu talking about John Su says, it's all gray. Uh, maybe the contrast was just a bit out because that drink was so, um, bright that it just, uh, next to the sandwich here, it makes the sandwich look grey, okay? Let's give him that out, please, don't kill me. Back to Weeb Fap right now, uh, blanked it out, so, uh, Weeb Fap, that's just a bit of fun, okay? But what isn't fun is this fucking dirty, disgusting picture you've posted of this dirty, disgusting meal. This downright dilapidated thawed out Encino man hockey puck brown hockey puck of meat unknown trash meat with a sweating piece of cheese and a watery bit of mayo Whew. there's a dead fly in it the burger looks like a display one that's been in the case for decades says Sarah that cheese is cracked from dehydration, says Tababo. This bop. This ain't no burger bop. This is like a breakfast bun, right? They scraped, they've scraped the bacon out. This one was on display for the breakfast tray, okay? This was in the window of this restaurant in the morning for people going to work. He's gone, I don't know, 4 o'clock, 12 o'clock, lunchtime. Uh, no one bought the bacon roll, so they scraped it out. Right? They're gonna really not gonna waste the bread. They scrape the bacon out and put a burger in it and sold it to Weeb Fap. Now I assume Weeb Fap is on his holiday, he's having a great time, you know. He's posted a picture of him and his girl here. Um I can only assume that's what the picture is about, letting people know that he has a girlfriend and he's on holiday, because uh I do not know why the fuck anybody would post this online. It is fucking insane. Excuse my language. Well, Semi you know what I swear that I'm being totally serious. This is nuts to post something like this. I'm so sorry. Uh, probably was says the we were agreeing with my bacon buddy theory. Weep fap. What the? What the? Hell? This is crazy, bro. Uh, 
I don't think I think I'd like to leave that. I mean, I could I could look at this burger all day long. That one little Romaine lettuce piece. Yeah, that's just that that's just to hide the tomato sauce from the bacon buddy earlier. Um, I I hope he didn't eat this. I I hope um he took one bite of this and uh ditched left the restaurant. Now, something that he could do as a get out of jail free card would be claim that he was taking this photograph because it was so bad. But uh i don't believe that to be the case you've seen all these other images people do post disgusting food thinking it's a flax somehow this ain't no flax bro this is taking you back a few years this post um i imagine several people unfollowed you for this not me i liked every single post of his and uh i'm gonna check out his music because this burger is so bad now how about that yo check it for the panther yeah and finally we have the best of both worlds we have the clout demon and we have a dirty disgusting filthy packet filled with gray brown meat disgusting congealed cold in some tupperware and he has tagged dublin food company lunch snack anytime strength emoji so this is the wee low fella do you remember he's that irish rapper that featured uh on first dates he's a clout demon um uh you know he wants to be a rapper he's just a stereotypical dublin egypt right nothing going on in his head apart from wanting to be famous uh uh we, we'll we'll get back into his instagram someday but whew, you think Dublin Food Company want us, want this to represent them? See, this is what I'm saying about Erica Cody. It's like, if you're going to tag a brand that you want to sponsor you and your popular Instagram account, uh, not Erica Cody, but this guy, that people only follow, to hate follow you. Um, you got to take some photography classes or at the very least, heat it up, put it on a plate. Uh, because the Dublin Food Company do not want this uh, cow pat, uh, this junky diarrhea vomit representing their brand. And I, I don't know, but I would assume they don't want one of the most hated people on Irish television representing their brand. Now, did they repost this wee little fella? Sadly, I didn't check. Um, if they did, you would have reposted it because that's what people do for some reason. Um, <laughs> Tababu says, What the F is that? Yep, wow, uh, I'm blown away. That was Dorty Dinners, ladies and gentlemen. The food looks stinking. What were you thinking? Next time you ask permission, when you wanna use the kitchen, your photo of a burger looks like there was a murder. Fix your saturation and next time you won't be raging Dirty, dirty dinners, these are dirty, dirty dinners